What's up, how gang? Welcome back to some mechanics and materials. So let's solve this problem. So I just solved 5.112. So basically I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time our goal is to find the maximum shear stress found anywhere in the shaft. So hopefully this graph is doing you justice, but we have a diameter of two inch and we have all these four moments acting on the shaft. And we're gonna find that anywhere, basically, anywhere in the shaft where the maximum shear stress is. And the equation we're using for that is shear stress max is equal to the torque in that segment times the radius over the polar moment of inertia. So first of all, if we want to find where the shear stress is maximum in the shaft, we need to find where the torque is max, right? Because if torque is maximized, then uh, our shear stress is going to be maximized. And to find where torque is going to be max, we're going to make a graph. So this graph, the x label, or the, the label is the x-axis. And what we're doing is we're starting at A and we're moving down until we make it to F. So there's no numbers for the x-axis, but it's going to start at A, and there's going to be B, C, D, E, F. Just like that. Then our y-axis is going to be torque. So what happens, basically, as we go over each torque is they're going to get added to each other. So this 700 pound-foot force going clockwise is going to get counterbalanced by this 900 pound-foot force going counterclockwise. And so we're going to re represent that here. So from A to B, we have no torques acting. You can kind of think about it as, as taking cuts. So we're starting here and we're t taking a cut in between A and B, and there's no torque acting, so we're at zero torque. Then we get to B, and we reach this 700 pound-foot torque. And we're going to make this positive, just because it doesn't really matter. So let's label this 700. So if we took a cut between B and C, we would see that the only torque acting is on 700. Then we get to C, and what happens at C? Well, we have this 900 pound-foot torque acting in the opposite direction. So what we're going to need to do is subtract 900. So 700 minus 900 gets us down to negative 200. Then if we took a cut between B and E, we're going to get this 500 pound foot force in there, and that's going clockwise. So we're going to add that 500. So it's going to get us up to 300. Oh, cool. Then we're going to reach this 300 pound foot force torque, and it's pushing us counterclockwise. So it's going to subtract 300, get us down to zero. All right, so looking at our uh, diagram we little made here, you can see that the maximum torque happens at segment BC. So in between B and C is where the maximum torque is experienced, and that's where the maximum shear stress is going to be. So we figured out what torque is. That's going to be 700. Radius is just going to be half foot diameter. So we need to find the polar moment of inertia. So the polar moment of inertia for just a rod, it's not a shaft or anything, or it's, it's not a shaft, it's a shaft, it's not a rod, it is pi over 2 uh, radius to the fourth. So if we plug in a number for a radius, we know that our radius is half of diameter, one inch to the fourth, so we're going to get that j is equal to pi over 2 meters to the fourth. So now that's all that's left is to plug in our numbers, we're going to get that our maximum shear stress which occurs in segment BC is equal to 700 pound-feet. Now we're in pound-feet on the top, and we need to convert to inches because we're using PSI, so to convert from pound-feet to inches, we're going to multiply by 12. Then a radius is 1, so we're going to do 1 squared, or 1, right? And then J is on the bottom, pi over 2. We're going to find that our maximum shear stress is 5,350 PSI. And there we go. That's how I solved this problem. Uh, so not too tricky. If this didn't make too much sense to you, feel free to watch the previous video in the playlist uh, where I solved a very similar problem. And also, I have a whole lot of problems just like this. So check those out. Uh, thanks for all the support. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.